Do you have just a ton of birds in your hatches and you need to process a bunch of them? You're wondering, what's the easiest way to do that? I'm going to show you that in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And with my latest grow outs moved out to this hutch, it is full. So I got to get some of these birds processed. And there's quite a few. Let me open this up. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So I don't know if you can see that very well on camera, but it is pretty much full on this side, pretty much full on that side. You know, I think the last 20 that I put in here were three weeks old, but there were probably already 30 birds in there. So we're looking at 50, 60 birds in this one little hutch. And uh, I got to get some of these guys processed. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to pick out, oh, the birds that don't look like they're going to be the biggest birds. I'm not going to be processing the young ones. They need to grow out a little bit more. Um, I may get a few of the older ones. I may get a few from the last one that are about 8 to 10 weeks old. No, they're about 10 weeks old right now, so they're pretty much full grown. And I should be able to tell at this point which ones look like they're going to be bigger birds, which ones are going to be the smaller birds. And I'm going to go through and pick out some of the smaller ones. Keep, oh, somewhere around 10 uh, hens from the older group and probably two roosters from the older group and uh you know well the bigger ones anyway from the oldest groups and then uh let the let the babies grow out hopefully that kind of makes sense anyway there's a bunch of birds to process i've got some in the other hutch i need to get processed it's a lot of birds and it could take quite a while to do it but i've got a trick i'm going to show you today and show you how i do it much faster let me get these birds all sorted out and get some in the the pet carrier here we'll get them over here where i'm going to process and i'll show you exactly how i'm going to do it and i'm going to do it fast super fast all right, so I've got my birds selected right here. There's a lot of them there. And I've got my uh, processing station all set up. And I'll bring you in close here in just a minute. And I'll show you what all that entails and exactly how I'm going to do these birds quickly. Because there's a lot of them. I don't want to be out here all night doing that. Before we get into that, though, I want to tell you guys about Hatch Poultry Farms. And I don't know if you're familiar with them or not, but they are a full-service hatchery hatching out ducks, geese, chickens, but they specialize in quail, right up my alley. They have some great bloodlines to choose from, they're NPIP certified, and they happen to be sponsoring today's video. As a sponsor, they are generously offering you guys a 15% off discount on your order of eggs. There's gonna be a code below where you can order eggs. Even better, they're offering a 100 egg giveaway. We're gonna give away 100 quail eggs, your choice, whatever bloodline you want. They have a lot to choose from, some great bloodlines. And all you have to do to enter that contest is leave a comment below letting me know that you'd like to be able to win those eggs. And we'll choose from one of the comments below uh, randomly here in about two weeks. And uh, we'll pick the winner from that. And you guys will get a free, you'll get free 100 eggs free. Your choice. Again, you just go in and you pick out whichever one you want. So very generous of uh, Dawson to offer those up for our viewers. He's a member of our community. He's on the live broadcasts all the time. So when you see him around, if you see him commenting, make sure you thank him for that offer. 15% off. No expiration date on that as of yet anyway. So uh, go down and order some eggs from him. Hopefully you win the eggs. All right, let's get to processing these birds. All right, so this is going to be an over-the-shoulder video so you can really see what I'm doing. I've got a bucket here to kind of catch my waist, a bucket with some water in it to uh, catch the uh, quail whenever I get them processed, my trusty dog here waiting to see if he gets some scraps. You're not going to. Go on. <laughs> go on, buddy. Go on. Go. And then uh, the only other two things I'm going to need, a pair of scissors and a club. And I just use a screwdriver here. It's just a heavy screwdriver. We use the handle as a club, and I'll show you what that's used for here in just a moment. The only other thing I use is a pair of gloves here to kind of keep my hands clean, be able to uh, clean them off real quickly. So let me uh, get these on, get a bird out, and uh, we'll show you the easiest way to do this. All right, so we've got the bird here. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I can't show this on video because YouTube's a little bit uh, weird about this. They don't like to show these things. I'm going to just knock this bird over the head real good and hard. That's going to stun him, kind of put him out real quick because I don't want him to suffer any more than he has to. And then pretty quickly we'll take the scissors, we'll snip the head off, and I'm going to let him bleed out right here. So I'll come back as soon as that's done um, and show you the rest of it because the rest of it's pretty quick from there on out. Again, can't show this part on video, so uh, there'll be a little bit of a cutout right here and then we'll be right back with you. Okay, so this bird is decapitated now. I just hold him over the bucket, let him drain out just a little bit. There's going to be some nerves kicking around, so the wings will kind of flop around a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is I just pull the wings out. I put the scissors real close to his body and snip the wings off on either side. 
there's no meat in the wings anyway. There's nothing. We don't need them for anything. Okay, quick, easy way to process these birds. You guys have probably seen me before where we skin the bird, we cut the backbone out, we cut the legs off, we peel it, and we, we have a whole bird there. But honestly, there's not really much meat to these birds except for the breast. There's very little in the legs, very little. I mean, it's just a nibble. So it's not much of a waste if we get rid of those legs. So the quickest, easiest way, grab the bird, open it up like this, expose the breast. I'm just gonna pull that skin away from it so we can get to it. And I'm doing this pretty slow so you can see what I'm doing. And you can see where the breastbone is, where the breast is, right there is where you're going to want to stick your thumb. So you just stick your thumb in there, push real hard, you'll push right through, put your other thumb on the other side of it, and just pull. And there you've got the breast exposed. What I usually do is take a pair of scissors, snip it off right here where it connects, basically right there where the wing bones are, and that's it. We're done. And there's some feathers, some cleanup to do. But that's it. We've got the quail breast. Now again, we have sacrificed the legs by doing that, but let me just show you something here real quick. If you really want the legs, they're not that hard to just pull out and pop off, but there's really not much meat on the legs. I find them barely worth saving, honestly. Um, but you can do that if you want to. All you've got to do is pop the leg out and just cut it right there at the joint and right there. And now you've got the legs saved as well. But again, there's not, I mean, there's very little meat on there at all. But we'll go ahead and do that with this one here. If you don't want to waste that meat, you don't have to worry about it. You can just cook the breast one way, cook the legs separate. They're not bad if you, uh, you know, season them up real well. I like to use a, a Greek seasoning on them and then bake them off until they're done. Let me turn this around. And there we go. That's it. Let me get another bird here. We'll show you more in uh, real time how fast this is. Get back. Okay, we've got another bird here. So we're going to block out this part right here, the part where I, of course, knock the bird out, decapitate, and then we'll come right back as soon as that's over. I'll show you how quickly it can be done. Okay, so the birds is knocked out now. I've already removed one of the feathers, one of the wings. There's the other wing. We'll turn it over, peel open the, uh, the, the skin right there. And there we go. There we go. Completely done. Cleaned up breast, ready to go. And again, if you want the legs, go back, skin the legs out, save the legs. They might be worth uh, saving. All right, so hopefully that helps you out. If you've got a lot of birds to process, that's the way to do it. I mean, it's so much easier, so much quicker that way. And honestly, like I said, there's just not really much to these birds other than the breast. So it's really nice to be able to just pop that breast out. And uh, if you want the legs, go back and get the legs. But I find that once these cook, they're not much more than a nibble. It's really not only barely worth saving if it is worth saving. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Again, go take advantage of that 15% off, get you some good qu quality uh, quail eggs below, and uh, leave a comment below so you're entering into the contest to win some eggs. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, God bless.